Welcome back to Finnegan's Farm and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I want to give you an update on the cows and we got back out on the land as you can see. Adam and John have been busy the last week doing a bit of plowing. It's a bit sticky, but it's not bad. It's manageable, manageable. So we've been mad busy in the farm plowing. We've been at the cattle. Cows are calving. We're over 100 cows calved now and it's just been crazy. John B is obviously in the A410, 7 for reverse plow. And then Alan was up here earlier with the 250R and the reverse plow. A410 just hasn't come out yet, it's just hasn't woke up yet, it's just a little bit tired, so we'll leave it for a while and then we'll bring it out when the work needs to be done. And in the middle of us being flat out calving cows, Hubble just decides to leave us. He goes with Dad to Austria to the case factory. Show you a few clips of that now. Dad would have went over with the phone and videoed a bit, so I'll show you a few clips from that now. The voice, was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been high. I think Hubble fell in love with the 260, so it could be Hubble 260 instead of 240. I don't know now, I don't know, rumours are so rumours. So before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to the Holy Wells Primary School there in Swords. Me and John went up there, we called into first class and fourth class, and I have to say they're very well behaved and they listened to everything we said. We basically went through all that happens on the farm throughout the year. They're part of an incredible edibles programme, and it's all about getting the food from the field to the fork. So we just showed them exactly how we done that. So all the kids said to subscribe to us, so that's why I said to give them a shout out. Fair play to you. So sometimes it's just nice to get a change of the roaring of the cows and cows roaring at me. You get a sound of the A410 roaring at you, it's just different. It's lovely. Gotta get out of the way here, King Tom at the wheel. There's only 18 cows up here that are left to have. The rest are back home, there's only 20 at home, so there's only 30 something left. So it's going to ease up a little bit just in time for the land drying up as well. So we'll be getting out, we'll be ploughing, we'll be sowing. Tractor work's going to kick off again, so that'll probably take over the videos for the next one. We have the flash track here, 6 a 20 here, going to the trailer. So basically what happened here is, in the pipes, the steering axle worked on us now, and now it won't work. And we rang Caleb and Caleb said there's a switch gone here, but none of the hydraulics will work until that's fixed. So, myself and Keen got the 6A20. We're hoping just to get the tipped up, because the spuds in it that we need, we got tipped and emptied. We could send the tractor home with the trailer on. That wouldn't be the issue, because we can't get this pipe out. But now, we can't even get these long enough to reach. We had a bit of a genius idea. Cut two cable ties to hold these pipes together. So now we have the door separate. We have the door separate now, so we connect the door, we tip the door up, we nearly kick the spuds out. And we already won't tip them out. Now we get the door up. Now we've got a ton and a half of spuds. And I think this might just take a bit of hard work. Just to push them all out, but that is such an effort though. quick look here. Right, so we have one pipe here that we need to get, but it's in the case and so I'm going to slit that open and hopefully make extract because I'm not getting in there and tipping them. Turn it. <laughs> right, now be careful with that because it's under pressure, but try to tipper there. I show all the nice things that happen on the farm, but this does go on the farm too. Mess with the drop the 6820 off the die feeder. 
get close enough to get in the pipes, but we're laughing now. So they're actually working up the road for Keen. Keen brought it up and obviously locked the steering on the road, but then it just wasn't released. So Shane A. Keener, drop her down. We'll get these pipes out. At least the fast track can go home on it, and then we just need to put in that switch, release that pipe, get the trailer. As you can see, the plastic has been on that for a while. It's just handy to keep all the pipes together, but sometimes you just need to get the pipe separate, and that was one of the moments we needed it. Now, that has actually been an intermittent problem on our fast track, but now, because it worked on the way up, and I think the switch is fully gone now, it won't come back on, so, yeah, we just need to fix it. We just let it go on too long, so. So, myself and Alex are just up here, feeding cows, fedding cows, and who rocks into the yard? <laughs> One day on the job he's plowing, he's already looking for treatment. We'll go over here now and see what's going on. That's what the experience gets John you. John B. I think I sourced the problem there. Find, find the hole out. So we think we have the diagnosis of the problem. Just in the inner wall there, you can see her bubbling away, column is fly, pouring ferry up, liquid on it. And a bit of mucky wreck has got in where he's playing, so. It's gonna happen anyway, it's gonna happen John. Thanks John. Oh yeah, uh, plowing will be next week's video, I just don't want to do it yet. Not only has John struck the whole yard, come into the middle of it, He's dirtied the whole yard as well, so I'm going to bring the sweeper up now and sweep that tomorrow. Big Steyer's out. A few other jobs going on here. From the Bay of Lehman and Alex. Picking up the sumo. Getting ready for sewing. Alex, say hello. Wave to the camera. Wave. <laughs> Just plugging in the top link. Do you want a hand? I know. I look where you put the pipes. Look at you. You're silly. You know the lads had their pre dives last night anyway. Do you know what pipes are for what? No. No, we're just picking up. Just picking up, bringing it back. We're only changing legs on it for beans. So good. So Lehman brings the sumo home and gets that ready. Big potato planters out as well, but that was only took out because they needed to get that out. It was in front of it. So that'd be going straight back in. Don't be taken out for another week or two. Look at the size of poor Jimmy compared to the Steyer. That's not fair. Big Steyer. So, 4220, obviously hydraulics wouldn't work. Keen rang Caelan, the Caelan, what's the story about it? Uh, he obviously told us about the switch. Caelan from down yesterday evening after I was telling him that morning from college. Uh, source problem, need a software update. So it's come back this morning, fixed, job done. And she's ready for road again. Genius, that man. And there's the big planter going back in. The Steyr and the Sumo actually match colours very well. The only problem is there's wheel weights on that tractor, so wouldn't work. So, quick video, but just a quick update on the farm and what's happening this Thanks week. very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment whatever you think. So, for myself, Jimmy, and everyone here in Finney's Farm, talk to you all next week. Good luck.